Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. In this small video, we are going to learn how organization can use and leverage Apache Hoodie to remove duplicates from the data lake. So let's take a look at the lab. Download the sample data set and I have opened the data set in Excel and here you can see we have certain duplicates. Uh, as you can see here, we have two duplicates. Uh, that is Martin Hunter and Dr. Jordan Moore, right? Now, we'll essentially upload this file into S3 and see how Hodi can help us to remove duplicates on the data lake. I'm on the S3. Let's create a folder called data. And then inside data, we'll essentially drag our sample data set over here. Now let's see the glue part, how we can essentially process this and essentially create our Apache Hoodie data lake and get rid of duplicates using Apache Hoodie. Before we begin the glue part, we essentially need to create a Apache Hoodie connector. So here I'm going to go to the connection section. After that, I'll head over to AWS marketplace and here we are going to search for Hoodie. Here you can see Hoodie connector. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on continue subscribe. And after that, I'm going to scroll down and click on continue configuration. After that, I'm going to select the glue version as 3.0 Apache hoodie version 0.10.1. Click on continue launch. Click on usage instruction. Click on activate glue connector. Now name this connector as hoodie connection go on the bottom section and click on create connector it's time that we create our uh, notebook so i'm gonna click on uh, i'm under the job section i'm gonna click on jupyter notebook and then i'm gonna click on create i will name this no notebook as hoodie one you can select a iam role and then click on spark and click on create notebook right now let's basically see the code part so i'm gonna share my screen so the first part over here we are defining our connector we're gonna use the hoodie connector i'm using glue 3.0 i'm in us west 2 i'm gonna use g1x three workers for now and i'm gonna run the cell after that here the first step we are defining certain imports these are just standard imports nothing uh, crazy here here I'm creating a Spark session. So if you can see, I'm essentially creating a Spark session here, right? After creating a Spark session, this is where our data set is, right? Inside a bucket called Sawmill Shah Hoodie Demos. Inside that we have a folder called data. So here I'm gonna read the data uh, as a glue data frame and then I'm essentially converting the data into a Spark data frame by essentially using 2DF which means any files inside that folder called data, all the files would be read. And now this is again going to convert that into a Spark data frame. If I do dot show here, here you can see this is how the data frame object looks like. Now here we are going to define hoodies, uh, hoodie setting. I'm keeping it pretty minimalistic for now. So here I'm saying the database name as hoodie DB, the table name as hoodie table. Record key is essentially what is a unique identifier in your data. And I'm saying hoodie that employee ID is a unique identifier in my data. And we know that there are two duplicates, okay? Here I'm using the method as absurd and the table type as copy on write. Let's execute the cell. Here I'm defining all the settings. And then here essentially I'm writing the data into the hoodie tables. So if you observe, I'm writing it as a glue dynamic frame. So glue context dot write dynamic frame from option and then I'm essentially converting my spark data frame into back into a glue dynamic frame and here I'm providing all my connection options so let's run the cell uh, once the execution of this cell is complete we should anticipate and see a glue database being created and essentially we should be able to query this data so we'll wait for this to complete this is complete now uh, I'll head over to the glue I'll refresh here and here you can see I see a hoodie DB with a table name called uh, hoodie table. If I go to S3, if I refresh here, here you can see a folder has been formed. Here is all the metadata and essentially my parquet or the data files. Uh, now, if I can come to Athena, um, if I select the right region, I'm in the US to S2. 
and here you can see hoodie db and i can do a preview table and now all my duplicates should be gone so if i remove the limit query here if i run this and here you can see we have uh, one two three four five records and now we have successfully removed duplicates from the data lake using apache hoodie so now i'm gonna quickly show you the excel file right so uh, if you observe here here we had nine records roughly right and if you observe um, these two were the duplicate records right so observe here and here and then basically this one over here so i'm just gonna color that quickly and now using apache hoodie if you observe we have successfully removed duplicates on the data lake so this is how customer can lab leverage apache hoodie to essentially deal with duplicates thank you so much for watching and all the materials and exercise files can be found on the github section below thank you thanks Emil, for the awesome hoodie lab to get started on Hoodie, find us at hoodie.apache.org and check out our quick start guide. If you have questions about how to use Hoodie, join our Slack community channel under Community, Community Syncs, and there's a hot link for the Slack channel. And don't forget to give us a GitHub star if you love and use the project at github.com slash apache slash hoodie. And check out the links down below on how you can become a Hoodie community member.